Hi, welcome back to Shotoku Tech. When I was a kid, I used to collect soda pop bottles, cash them in, and save up to buy Archer electronic kits from Radio Shack. Yeah, the times sure have changed, but one thing for sure, this Arduino sensor kit could be a real head start for someone just getting started in the DIY electronics hobby. Let's unbox the Arduino sensor kit. This is a really cool package. Now, you could cut out the individual sensors if you like, but all of the sensors are already wired to this base shield. The entire sensor kit is a single shield for the Arduino Uno. Now, the Arduino Uno is not included, so you need to get one of these as well. Let's go ahead and mount the Arduino Uno onto the Arduino sensor kit. Now, let's take a quick tour. This LED is on digital pin 6. The buzzer is on D5. The OLED display is I to C. The button is on D4. The potentiometer is on analog pin 0. The base shield has Grove connectors for analog pins 0 through 3 here. There are Grove connectors for digital pins 2 through 6. Here is the serial interface. And finally, there are four Grove connectors for I to C. On the right, we have the light sensor on analog pin 3 and the sound sensor on A2. The temperature and humidity sensor is I to C. The air pressure and acceleration sensors are also I to C. Now, there's no instructions inside the box. So, follow this URL to sensorkit.arduino.cc. This getting started guide highlights a few things you need to consider. All of the sensors are already wired to the base shield, just like I said, so there's no need to cut out the individual sensors and wire them with the included Grove connectors. But of course you can if you wish. There is this 3.3 volt slash 5 volt switch. The instructions say to use the 5 volt setting. Choosing between the Arduino Web Editor or the Arduino Offline IDE, that's an important decision. The Arduino Web Editor is easy to use and you don't have to download libraries and board definitions. You do need a Create account and the Arduino Create Agent installed on your computer in order to connect your board to the Arduino Web Editor. Here, I'm selecting the serial port that my Uno is connected to and selecting the Arduino Uno board. Now, we can search for the Arduino Sensor Kit library in Library Manager. Let's look at the example sketches in library. The first example sketch is the accelerometer. We upload it. And once the sketch is running, we can open the serial monitor and see the readings. The Arduino Offline IDE has a serial plotter. So let's go ahead and install the Arduino Sensor Kit library in the desktop IDE. Here you can see the serial plotter graphing the X, Y, and Z acceleration readings plotted when moving the sensor kit along all of its axis. The next example sketch is the OLED display. A random number is generated and shown on the display. Pretty simple. The next example in the library is called Plug Play. It uses the button and the LED. Pretty simple sketch. I really like the pressure sensor sketch. This I to C pressure sensor includes its own temperature sensor. So you can see temperature, pressure, and a calculated altitude that is fairly accurate. That's impressive. I encountered issue with the temperature and humidity sketch. It seems obvious because the sketch mentions digital pin number 3 and the sensor is I to C. 
The combined demo sketch suffered a similar fate. We'll come back to this later. There are 10 sensors on the Arduino sensor kit and 10 lessons on the Getting Started page. Let's check out the remaining sensors. Here's the lesson in the Getting Started guide for the potentiometer. First, we see the resulting measurement in the serial monitor. Again, I like the serial plotter more and more, even for this simple demonstration. Let's check out the light sensor. Here's the sketch. You know, it's funny. After all the Arduino videos I've made, I've not played with most of these sensors. Sound sensor sketch. Check. The graph is registering some background noise then. Check one, two. Check, check one, two. Check one, two. Check, check one, two. Cool. That came out nice on the graph. I did some research on the Arduino forums about the I2C temperature and humidity sensor sketch and the combined demo sketch issue. I got a quick and useful response to my query. It seems there's a problem with the current version of the Arduino sensor kit library, and that's version 1.0.9. So let's roll back to version 1.0.8. I really want to see the combined demo sketch run. Here it goes. The combined demo sketch display shows the data from each of the sensors. Light, sound, accelerometer, the pressure sensor. I still see a problem with the temperature and humidity sensor. I guess that's something for next time. The button turns on the LED and the buzzer. The button status one, is also registered on the display. Oh, the potentiometer controls the frequency of the buzzer. That's cool. Let's play a few notes. Well, that's the complete Arduino sensor kit run through. Leave a comment down below. Give this video a like. And before you go on to watch more of my Arduino videos, please Click on subscribe. Thank you very much.